if we get a clearer picture of who God is, we get a clearer picture of who we are in God. Now, some of you are trying to adjust your behavior without realizing your identity has been changed. When you realize that you're a son or a daughter of the king, you begin to act like a son or daughter of the king and following Jesus. So Galatians includes this list of the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5.22. It says, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And the awesome thing that we talked about is, yes, this is a list of the fruit of the Spirit. Uh, fruit of the Spirit, excuse me. But let's also notice that the Holy Spirit is what? Is God. It's not an it, it's a he. And in showing us and revealing to us the fruit of the Spirit, these scriptures are actually revealing to us the personality of God. The character of God. God is love. The Bible tells us. God also is joy and peace. And God is also long-suffering. And he's kind. And he's good. And he's faithful. And he's gentle. And he has self-control. Now, that is beginning to dismantle your view of God great. Because what we want to do is see what the Bible says about the identity of God. It's interesting to me that a lot of Christians have idols. They have a construct, if you will, of who they think God is. But that construct, that their image of God has been taken from, you know, late night television and unbiblical Sunday school teachers and all this weirdness and maybe a smidge of the Ten Commandments where the ground opened up and swallowed people. And and you need to unlearn what you've learned about God. 